What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play some Gauntlet. So, i uh, going to have to buy a Gauntlet runner for 150 gold, because my last Gauntlet runner did not reach 7 wins to get another Gauntlet ticket. And, what to choose here? Uh, I think Lionar has been the strongest deck in Gauntlet for me by far, so I'm going to choose that. Um... And I kind of felt bad for choosing it uh, because I played so much of that on my channel, but Vanner was there also, um, and I played a lot of that. And then Songhai is not very good in Gauntlet, I don't think, because it relies on a lot of combo cards and it's a lot of spells, which you don't really know what you're going to be able to draft. And I do actually have, I think my quest right now is, yes, playing with Lionar. So, yeah, let's continue. So, we have a 3-drop and a 5-drop. 3 does more of a utility card. Best card here, probably Sojourner. I did get a, uh, oh, there's actually a really pretty bad row here. I don't know which to take. None of these are shouting out at me. I don't like any of them. I guess Beam Shock has the most value, who knows, could be used. It's okay to have bad cards in your deck because you can always just replace them and just not play them. But I did get a 10, uh, 10 win gauntlet run with Lionar earlier this week. Um, so that was cool. What do I want to take here? Crimson Oculus or Flame Blood Warlock? This is for more aggro. Take the two drop. I have more three drops so far. They're about the same. Um, I'll be Sage. As liner, I'm probably not kind of that many spells. What Widow is cool for dealing damage, or another Second Sun. I think I'll go for another Second Sun. It's better in probably Gauntlet than a Constructed, because I mean I don't think there's as much just spell going around in a Gauntlet. But this guy's really nullified dis by dispel. Uh, I'll take Lysian Legion, Lysian, Lysian Brawler here. So not a perfect deck so far. Really, here we go. Here's a good five drop. Iron Cliff Guardian. More of the lesser used Lionar decks, <laughs> Lionar cards I've gotten so far, like the Brawler and the Second Sun. But and now another row where I don't really like the cards, so I don't love this draft so far. I'll just take a. Sundrop elixir, you never know when you're gonna need that. And another row I don't really like. Not too happy with this so far. Teleport a nearby min into a random space. 6-5 with flying. I'm gonna take another beam shock. I guess I'll have more utility cards here. Okay, here we go. Silver Guard Knight. Very strong through drop with provoke. Um I'll take the Necroseer pays for itself when it dies. Yes, my 10 win deck was similar uh, to this, but I guess I just kept on getting lucky or playing well. Wasn't wasn't able to get to 12 wins, unfortunately. Here's a tough choice. Do I take the 2 drop or the 3 drop? Silver Guard Sight's really good, so I'm probably going to take that. I already have a few 2 drops and a few 3 drops, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Savior Spine Tiger. Never know when that can come in handy. The Sun Bloom I almost should have taken here. Now I'll take the Sun Bloom. Light Chaser could be good if I choose the Healing General, but I think for this deck seems kind of aggressive, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Sun Bloom rather than the Light Chaser for the Healing uh, General. I'd rather have Argeon, which can give my thing extra attack. Uh, tough choice here, probably the 2-drop. I want to make sure I have enough 2-drops. I'll take the Healing Mystic. I, the high hand is a decent 5 drop though. Okay, we got some rares on this row. Golden Justicar, Dream Gazer, or Bastion. Hmm. I'll take the Golden Justicar. 5 drop. I have a bunch of things with Provoke, with provoke in the deck, so it could come in handy. Arclight Sentinel is a solid 3 drop, like almost pseudo removal. Uh, Martyrdom is hard removal. For Lionar, even though it will give the enemy general some health. Tempest could come in handy. I need four drops. I have no four drops. Here's a four drop. Okay, this is another pretty 
bad row. But I do have four drop there. Your other minions with range at plus one attack. Do I have anything else with ranged? No, I don't. Um, well, I'm going to take it anyways. Or maybe the diamond golem. I'll take the diamond golem as a six drop. You know, I really would love to find some divine bonds. Here's a four drop. Mine warper. Open again, I gain around as well. It's kind of cool. Or do I take the removal and lasting judgment? Probably rather have the removal at this point. I have a lot of creatures so far. Well, we're just going to go with a lot of big golems, I think. I think Dragon Mum for 7 is better than Storm Metal for 6. I think. Yeah, so I guess this isn't my very aggro anymore. It has some big drops. Here, here's a good 4 drop for me. Suntide Maiden. That's actually the card that got me to 10 wins. Uh, my opponents just didn't have answers to that. Divine Bond. Finally one of these. I want more than one, though. Another Divine Bond. Look at that. There we go. And now... I guess another Saber Spine Tiger. Okay, and last thing I can draw... We already have enough 5 drops. I think I'll just take another Flame Blood Warlock. So this is going to be kind of aggro, but then I'll have some huge creatures. Uh, and then an Argeon. So, yeah, I guess, oh, this is kind of cool to add. They changed up the uh, gauntlet screen a little bit. So, I have Divi two Divine Bonds. I would have preferred maybe three, but two is definitely good enough for all my high health creatures, so we'll see how far I can go. I definitely have a bunch of cards that are kind of dead in the deck, but we'll see how this goes, so. Not very good starting hand so far. I really need a two drop I can play in the first turn. Unfortunately, did not draw one yet. Last ditch effort. Can I draw a two drop? First of all, let's get rid of the so Sojourner. Could be rid of a three drop in hand. Two drop. Nope. So, pretty unlucky there. Because I think uh, there's a good amount of two drops in the deck. So, not a high chance that I didn't have a turn one play. Durat Masta. Pyromancer. Okay, and Science First Wish. Okay, so I can't really let that uh, stay there and hit me like that, so I think I'm just going to have to dispel it. Um, I will get rid of the... Well, next turn I'm going to have four mana so I can play the Suntide Maiden, so maybe I should just get rid of the Silver Guard Knight. No, it's too valuable as a minion. I'll get rid of it. I'll just go big drop after big drop after this, after this coming turn. Ooh, Tempest actually works better than using Sunbloom on it. So I'm just going to Tempest. Which actually means I can't play it with a Flame Blood Warlock. So, oh well. I'm right in the middle of the board. I am in the middle. Yeah, if I did the uh, Sun Bloom, would have been a little. Right, sun Bloom can work for that, actually. So this turn, now I wish I had my uh, my three drop back. Oh, actually, never mind. I don't have to dispel this because I have my. Bloodborne spell Roar, and I can put that on a Saber Sun Tiger for 5 attack and use it all to destroy this fire, Fireblaze Obelisk. Perfect. Um, and now I'm going to get rid of the... I want to keep my big drops, because big drops are pretty valuable. Let's get rid of the Flame Blood Warlock, even though we seem pretty... We actually seem pretty aggressive here, so he could be useful. Now nah, we're going we're gonna to keep our big big units big creatures okay I'm just gonna grab this mana spring because it's like right next to him so just to prevent him from walking onto it and getting extra mana 
I know he could still actually just move up to the top here and play something on the Metaphorian to get it, but stopping it from walking on it does help a little bit because then he, that prevents him this turn from playing, like, for example, an Amar or Healer. Because if he walks on, he has six mana to work with, but if he has to play something on it, he could he has six mana to work with, but he has to split it up into two minions or two cards. If you guys understood what I meant there. Okay, so we have a five attack saber stone tire. He's probably just gonna hit that with his general. It would it will deal five damage to him. And what's he gonna play? Bright Moss Golem. Iron Shroud, is it going to spawn somewhere where I can hit it? Yes, it does. So, this is a pretty big unit, but it's not that scary because I know Vitruvian doesn't have many Divine Bonds up its sleeve, so... It's A-OK. -okay. And now... Let's see, I could play turn on... 5 drops on turn 5, 5 drop on turn 6, and play Roar... Turn 7, play both of these, or just play the Dragon Moon Golem. You know, I have a lot of options here, but I don't want to get rid of the Sun Blue Man. I have too many units, I need more utility cards. Uh, I'll get rid of the Sun Tide Maiden, I think. Yeah. That's going to be what goes. Is there a line? So... I'll go here, some more threatening his general. I'll just play the second sun. Like, I could play the Iron Cliff Guardian, but I think the 8 8 is more menacing than the 3 10 with this giant thing on the board right now. Hopefully, he has no dispel in his hand. If he does, that just becomes a 0 8, which kind of sucks for me. Okay, and Tropic Decay is going to get rid of it. But he was able to use that on anything, so that just kind of sucks for me. But oh well. And he's going to be able to hit me for 6, which is quite a bit. And I'm down to 11 health on my general. Um, I have to tread water here. So I can just play the Iron Cliff now and give it roar I guess and I'll get rid of the Azurite lion because I I do see maybe a win coming up so let's get rid of the Azurite lion divine bond okay here we go guys so even though there's an airdrop I'm still gonna play it nearby my general because I want to be able to put the roar on this turn and do I hit him here? It's a tough choice. You can deal a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and not hit him. I'm kinda scared of him being able to win the game this turn then. I don't know what he has up his sleeve. Maybe I shouldn't be scared. It's not like he's Songhai that can just do a ton of burst damage. But seeing as I am a little slightly ahead of him in cards, I have six cards, he has four. I think I can outlast him a little longer. So as long as I protect myself, and I guess I am equipped to do so with a provoked unit on the board and a provoked unit in hand, I should be okay. Bone Swarm. Okay, so I guess he is going for like a quick win or something. Or that's all he had. Is he gonna hit, hit me with it? Hit his general with that? And Star's Fury. Okay. So, that hurts. He's able to destroy it, but that, that big Iron Club did some work. It ended up knocking this down to 2 health, which actually is too much health for me. Um, Flame Blood Warlock, uh, this is actually kind of scary here. Considering... I'm just going to get rid of the Necrosseer here. 
The game's gonna end very soon, whether for me or for him. Saber Spine is a very good card for next turn. I forget how. Oh no. I'll actually use it. I was thinking about using it next turn with my Bloodborne spell and possibly winning the game. I can't just let this sit on the board though. I'd rather destroy it. And I'm probably gonna I'm gonna run away with my general as well. So let's play this. And then I have th th four mana left. I will I'll just get in his face I'll actually go like this and not attack his general maybe I should have moved farther with my general I don't know probably was kind of stupid but I mean I wanted to be nearby uh, the Silver Guard Knight. That's the thing. Okay. Um, hopefully he does not hit this because I want to get the maximum divine bond. Don't hit it. Because then I win the game. No, I don't win the game. Close to winning the game, though. Actually, hitting this actually would be okay. Okay, so. Can I win? So I definitely have to move this out of the way with a Repulsor Beast. So this, if it gets plus 5 from the Divine Bond, gets 8, and then it gets a 10. And I finish off with this. Can I afford all that? Yes, I can, right? I think that's game. So let's move this to the corner. Divine Bond extra attack and well played sir so I, I kinda held on uh, to the thin of my teeth there that was a close one I got down to very low health and that's uh, that's called divine bond saving your butt so it's always good to start off 1-0 in the run um, I tend to usually actually start off well and then like lose a few in a few in the few in a row. Like this past week, I played a lot of Gauntlet when I kind of gave up on ladder getting to top fifty this week. I uh, oftentimes got like five straight wins and then just lost three in a row, or got to seven straight, lost three in a row. Um, yeah, like my ten winner was seven straight, and then I won. I went three and three in the next six games. Don't need the seven drop so early, and not sure what I want to replace now. It's actually a really tough choice. Both of these can be useful. Let me get rid of the tempest. I know that's a maybe a ballsy replace on the if I'm going second on the and on the first turn, because if you play something with two or less health, I can just destroy it. Well, Jaxi. That, would I have played Tempest? Probably not, because I'd have 50% chance of the Jaxi spawning over there and just be like, whatever. Saber's on Tiger cannot make the snake of trying to kill it right now because then the Jaxi just destroys that. So it's gonna be a. I think Silver Guard Knight gonna be played this turn. Pretty easy choice there. Um, I do like Maw for maybe getting a Jaxi in the corner, Arclight Sentinel as well. So I'm actually gonna get rid of the second son here. Actually, does does not have a lot of a uh, dispel. I don't think so. So I actually want to keep the second sun. In that case, I will get rid of the maw, which is probably the least uh, strong. And display my silver guard knight. Okay. Yeah. Come to think of it, I don't know what Songhai has to dispel. There's not only like ephemeral shrouds and like neutral, but like Vitruvian definitely has like that card that dispels a minion directly. Lionar has a two by two sun bloom. Um, uh, like Vanar has chromatic cold. I'm not sure if uh, there's a high chance of uh, Songhai having a lot of dispels, so I might be able to get get away with uh, the eight eight for five. 
Okay, so wherever the the uh, mini jack spawns on a corner, I pray that I can kill it. Probably will be able to because with a Saber Spine Tiger in my hand, I can reach the corners of the board. And Saber Spine Tiger is very good for killing that because it actually survives the attack. The Saber Spine Tiger does not survive many attacks because it only has two health, but Mini Jackson does. Alright, so that's, that uh, process is a little annoying because he's able to destroy my provoked dude. And it spawns in a place where I cannot kill it next turn. And Chakra Avatar. Not very good. That was not very good. But at least I'm able to use things to destroy the Chakri Avatar. Um, think I'll actually maybe keep this hand. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Tiger. I could actually just play. The Do I want Tiger or Arclight Sentinel on the board? Do I want a three-one or a two-four? Probably two-four. Because I can use the Tiger to destroy that. I really, I'm really unsure what to replace here. I'll play this Azurite right line on one of these guys. Maybe I just shouldn't replace. No, I have to. I want like a Divine Bond in my hand. I'll get rid of the. Second Sun. And now I will. Play the Arclight Sentinel here to kill that and hit this thing. And I guess I'll play my lion, which is kind of stupid because <laughs> he can just hit my lion with his general and then use the mini jacks to finish it off so that's kind of annoying let's draw some divine bonds I just got this big golem I kinda wanna make a dime a golem deck but the problem with uh, duelist is that there's no like quick match like game mode where you can play casually it's all in ranked and Someone like Golem is probably not strong enough for that. Okay, so it's a pretty close game so far. We've been kind of trading a little bit. Definitely happy I was able to destroy Chakra Avatar before it got big. Because I don't want it getting big. Phoenix Fire, fine. I'm actually kind of happy about that, like it was able to die so easily anyways. I'd rather him use a Phoenix Fire this turn. Okay, before this thing gets out of hand, I should probably... Oh, he added a Blood Tear Alchemist to destroy that. Oh, and an Arcane Heart. So if I can draw a Tempest here, that'd be good. Because now I'm not sure what I want to do. Let's replace the Flame Blood Warlock. Golden Justicar. So I could place down the Ankle Guardian to provoke that. I could use Saber Spine. I can't use Saber Spine Tiger at anything else in the same turn, so I'm going to go ahead and rule that out. So I'll hit that. And then I think I'll play the Iron Cliff here. Because knowing I can play the Golden Justicar next turn, the Iron Cliff does have a nice range of motion. And now this can't like get a good range attack off unless he is able to dispel the Iron Cliff or destroy it. But he's at 3 cards, I'm at f 4 cards, and I have a slightly stronger board presence I think with my 310 over his 211s. So. Oh, he does have Dispel. So now I'm glad I didn't play my um, 
eight eight, which would have turned into a zero eight. Um, so it's not a huge deal on Iron Cliff Guardian. It's still a, it's still a big body, but. Okay, so I still have a lot of health. I don't have to worry that much. I'm going to get rid of the Legion Brawler. Double Saber Smine. Saber Smine kill that. Saber Smine to kill this. I think that's a good turn, right? Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather not take my big 310 out of the battlefield. So, I don't get to use my Roar this turn, unfortunately, but I don't want to have to deal with these ranged units. And then I will actually clear his board. So he will draw a card, but... And I'm gonna do some health on my general, but now I have a bunch of things on the board. His general can't really run, or he runs into something else. And Sahai doesn't really have like board clear stuff, I don't think. They're more for single burst, big damage. This is a pretty good place to be. Oh, there's that card. I forgot about that card. So that does take care of the two Saber Spine Tigers. Unfortunately, it's not the end of the world though. I feel like I'm still kind of ahead, not super ahead. I would really like to draw Divine Bond. If he plays the Arcane Heart, um, I'll probably be able to kill it because I have a Maw in my hand. Cash Fan Fanblade. That's a big five attack thing. Kind of scared of that. And there's an Arcane Heart. He's gonna spawn it back there. So, Keshrai Fanblade, next turn, opponent spells cost two more to cast. Well, I'm not going to be playing the Roar this turn. I'll, I guess I'll just get rid of the Diamond Golem. Need more game changing cards here. I'll replace that. See what I can get. This has six health, good. I don't want to die to one hit from that Keshrai. Place this. We do have a divine bond. Okay, so well, I just got rid of the eleven health thing, but oh well. Um, definitely want to provoke this dude. Well, let's get closer here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it like this. Provoke that, and kill this with this. So I'm in a bit of a vulnerable position here, having only 11 health on my general. And now we're both at two cards. But my board is slightly stronger. Not by a lot. And unfortunately, my Iron Cliff is a little bit damaged, so Divine Bond's not going to do everything. I will have access to my Bubborn, so I haven't really played this game yet. Kind of afraid. Uh, hope that uh, his deck does not have the deal 8 damage card to the general, because that would strike me by surprise and be very scary. Okay, so he's going to have to just hit that directly, which is fine. I need to just get rid of that. And Death Blighter. So that kind of hurts. And he is running away. Interesting. And now I'm going to get rid of the Divine Bond. Because I need units. Repulsor Beast. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to start having this every single turn now, the Roar. So, I can actually get like a big lesion brawler and make it run and hit 
For now though, I'm gonna come forward with this though and give this our attack so it can one hit this death lighter. And I will run away. I don't wanna be uh, able to be hit by either of those because I'm only at 11 health and I don't wanna be hit and then uh, have spiral technique played on me. I think that's the card that deals eight damage. And then I'll play the Legion Brawler right here. Again, somewhere where I can't be hit because I kind of want to protect that. There's a big golem. And I just realized he can kind of just hide in a corner and play Arcane Hearts. <laughs> Darn. Close game. If only Repulsor Beast could, uh, you know, move, uh, move me my units right in front of the enemy general. Otherwise, I think, uh, I'm just gonna have to chase him down here. <laughs> Sunsteel Defender is a pretty good creature, and then Arcane Heart. Right in the corner. Okay, I have no Blood Tear Alchemist or anything to take care of that. Um, hmm. And I can't, it's impossible for me to destroy the Sunset Defender on the board at the moment. Maybe I should just Repulsor Beast it to a corner. That might be the best option. I'm gonna go ahead and actually replace the Repulsor Beast because I really, a six drop, even though it's not a great six drop, it's still a big body on the board and that's what you need at this stage of the game. Okay, so the problem is this is gonna just get a big hit on anything it wants, which I do not like. <laughs> well, I'll give this more attack. I can't just sit on the edge here and just I have to, I have to move in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Move there. Move here. Move here. And. Move a little closer. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Lasting Judgment. That's a good card to have. Actually, that's actually a perfect counter for the Sunsteel Defender. But I am in his business now. Ugh, that was a very good card for him. That's going to fill up his hand a little bit. Which is not what I want at this point in the game. And he still has five mana to use. That's kind of scary. Hopefully he didn't get that eight eight damage card. Okay, Maw. I guess he's going to hit that with his little guy in the back. He's still open to his general, so if I can top deck like a Divine Bond... Oh, he's gonna run away though, of course. You know, I can deal. S oh, I did I win the game? I think I won because all I have to do is this thing can get two attacks off as long as this thing survives this turn. And the board is currently positioned at it as it is. Come on, don't play anything else, please, please don't. I can just hit the. Yes, I won. Wow, how did I win that? So I just have to <laughs> increase this attack. So it's gonna be able to deal 16 damage on that and it's gonna finish off the Lasting Judgment. Wow. Or I mean finish off with a fun Warlock and what would I have gotten as well? Necroseer. Wow. So that's gonna be game. Man. That's why celerity is good. Just when it looked like he was pulling away. 
Very pleased with that. So a bit of a longer video, but we got two games in and two wins. Even better. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist Duelers.